Welcome to the latest episode of Sweet Death Entertainment. I am RJ Stone. And I'm AJ Mox. And this is our next episode, and we are doing something brand new. Been out for what, a couple weeks, two weeks? Yeah, a couple weeks now. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited, because I really dig this band. I'm digging them more now. Mm -hmm. When it first came out, I was like, why is everybody so hot on this guy and this band? I was like, I didn't get it. Mm -hmm. it I'm slowly starting to get it now. This album, I think, is kind of maybe the one that gets me. Okay, hold it. The fourth. Yeah. Who are we talking about? Ghost. Ghost. Brand new. Tobias yeah. came out with new material. Ooh. We're pretty excited. Yeah. Uh, the tune's called Rats, and it's off of the album that comes out June 1st called Prequel. Prequel? 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 Prequel. 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 Well, it's hard. It's, you know, it's spelled Depending differently than prequel. Is normally what spelled. language you're speaking or yeah. whatever, but yeah. prequel, prequel. Yeah, June 1st. June 1st. And uh, this one is called Rats. Rats. Like you said, um, we got Cardinal Copio. You got the Nameless Ghouls in there as well. Yeah. Um, fire, water, wind, earth, and ether. ether. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if they got that name out here. <laughs> Anywho, uh, so rather than sit here and blah, 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 blah about it, we're just going to go straight into the video. Let's do so it. So this is brand new ghost, Rats. Now, I want you to pay attention. They shot it like it was shot in the 70s. I think that's the feel mm. they were going for with okay. all the scratches and stuff around the film. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm sure is just a digital effect that gets added Oh, now. of course. Of course. Yeah. And we got a new look for Ghost. Yep. No more skull makeup. Now he's got this creepy looking mask. Yeah. And I'm trying to figure out if it gets older and older in each of the shots. Well, when I first saw the video, I, I was like, oh, he's wearing, you know, the glue on prosthetics yeah. and whatever. But then I was like, later on, you can kind of see where his lips don't really move. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. He's just singing behind it. It's kind of that creepy Bob Fosse, Roy Schneider, Roy Schneider thing. <laughs> but hey. He's got those like 70s jazzercise dance moves. Yes. <laughs> More on that later. Jazz hands. <laughs> Jazz hands. So traditionally, when you're in this band, you really are a hired gun. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's probably why they're the nameless ghouls, because mm -hmm. you can just trade them in and out as needed. Swap them. Yep. Yep. Don't like what I'm giving you or paying you? Get out. Yep. But I know there was a lawsuit a couple of years ago, but that's for a different discussion. So, what do we got? Uh, rats. Lots of rats. Lots of them. Hazmat suits. Yet, he's dancing and he's... Yeah. He's having a grand old time. He is. In this chaos scene of disaster. Since he's got so much control over the band itself, I wonder how much of the actual video production he does. Like, does he do his own choreography? <laughs> Kind of looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bring in the dancing goyles. See what I did there? Yeah, oh, see? Or I guess the dancing ghouls. <laughs> you gotta love the 70s Greasy Spoon Diner. Mm -hmm. Or Jersey. <laughs> Now, if you didn't see it before this came out, they were teasing up to this video. Mm. There was a teaser video oh, yeah. in the hallway, going from Papa Ramirez to Cardinal Copia. Cardinal Copia. Yeah, it was, that was pretty funny. Yeah, those things were hysterical. What kind of car is that? Is that an old uh, Monte Carlo? <laughs> So why do I like this so much? Yeah, why do you like this so much, RJ? I think it's because he keeps a simple formula. You know, there's not mm -hmm. a lot of overproduction here. Uh -huh. You know, the tune's what, four and a half minutes long. Yeah. All right, covers everything. It's memorable. It's hard. I, I think this song is more uh, traditionally formatted for a song than some of the older stuff that I'm mm -hmm. kind of ragging on. Yeah. You know, that I was like, what is this? this? 
to me it wasn't even like metal, but all these metal guys, you know, were coming out in droves saying how much they loved Ghost, and I was like, I'm not getting it. And I'm like you, I'm, I'm like AJ, I was a little bit late to the party. A friend of mine turned me on to these guys. He's like, no, you'll like this. And I'm like, who the hell are they? He's like, just, just listen to them, just listen to them. And I have found myself going back again and again, listening to this band. I was listening to them over the weekend, as a matter of mm-hmm. fact. Now, here's the funny thing. If you're not familiar with the band, if you're new to them, and hopefully maybe we'll turn a couple of you guys on, this is a band with its roots really deep in Satanism. <laughs> <laughs> right? Am I? Just, yeah. You know, yeah. if you listen to yeah. some of their older it's tunes, metal. it's metal, right? And so chances there, are, <laughs> there's going to be some of that element in there. And there you have it. That's the video. And they are not ashamed to talk about it. He's never yeah. been ashamed. You know, he writes about it, whatever he likes. Uh-huh. Uh, I think the funniest thing is, only a few weeks ago, uh, I was listening to traditional radio out here in LA. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And... He is, which is one of the previous songs, came okay. on. And it's really, it's got a cool sound to it. Sonically, it's great, right? If you're familiar with it. And I had to think for myself, wait a minute, what am I listening to? Did, yeah. my, did my like Spotify or something kick in? It's like, no, <laughs> this is traditional radio. It's like somebody is actually playing Ghost in this city here in, in LA with in LA. no rock station. Yeah. Well, well. No metal station. No, no metal station. No, no hard rock station. No, no. agro or whatever they're calling it but these days. But they played this. I'm like, okay, cool. And yeah. I thought it was it. So Crazy. <sighs> there you have it. That's the new ghost, Rats. Um, and if we talked over it too much, just go back and watch it again. Yeah, just, we'll put a link to the original video below. Yeah. And uh, the album cover is very interesting. Yeah. A uh, <laughs> couple giant um check out the image nuclear, that we're posting right now. Nuclear size rats. rats. Yeah. Yeah. I just have it. With, down. Yeah. Check out the uh, album here. It's right behind us. Uh, yeah, nuclear fallout size rats with him sitting on a throne and a throne a, of rats. A, a, the city behind him. Mm-hmm. Something. It's but it's a lot to look at. It is. But <laughs> one thing to consider uh, mm-hmm. when you listen to this record, which again mm-hmm. comes out June first, uh, he pulls his influence from a lot of things that happened in the past year and a half, give or take. Yeah. You want to do it? Go ahead. Um, I'll do it. Yeah, he's uh, heavily influenced by the the deaths of a lot of uh, musicians lately. He's saying all our heroes, all our parents, as he's putting it, uh, passed away. To include Lemmy, Dio, Bowie, uh, Prince. You know, these were all heavily uh, people that influenced other musicians to yeah. create more music. Because he's a, he's a little bit younger than we are, yeah. right? So he's grown up with the same music mm-hmm. we are. And he's from Sweden, so, you know, they get the whole yeah, international some, scene there. Yeah, they got some great metal coming out Absolutely. of Sweden. Yeah, so there you have it. Rats from Ghost. Uh, I like it. I yeah. can't wait to hear I'm, the rest of the album. Yeah, I want to hear the rest of the album now. I'm on board with Ghost uh, for this album, finally. Mm-hmm. I know it took me four albums, but, you know. It's okay. Got to go hey, see Now you, know, you got to see him. Yeah, and they're going to be on tour. tour. They're going to be out here. Probably May. by the time you see this, they were out here. Yeah. They started the tour out here. Yeah, May 5th and in Riverside. And they're going to be on tour in the U.S. through June 1st when the album comes out. And they'll probably either continue touring the U.S. or go off to Europe or South America or wherever they go. Yeah, and they tour a lot. Uh, he tours, and I was reading this, that they like to go out for about a month at a time and take mm. a break and then go again, yeah. which is why he's got the gap in between his albums. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping to see them in my new state. There you go. Uh, in the next round when they come around. <laughs> or I'm sure he'll probably end up doing some festivals or something, too. Sure. So there you have yeah, it. Yeah, a lot of summer festivals happening in the U.S. now, too. That's true. That's true. So we've talked way too much. Um, just want to say thank you for watching and tuning into Sweet Death Entertainment. Make sure you go to sweetdeath.net. Check out the gear for some shirts. We'll post link. Uh, we'll post links to everything below. Stay metal. Sacrifice nothing. This, that, sweet death entertainment. <laughs>